Hunt, 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 hunt. Electric forest, electric forest, where's my forest, where's my forest? Peter Bird and Jelly, Peter Bird and Jelly, Peter Bird and Jelly with the baseball bat. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today has been so busy. Oh my freaking god. We are going to Electric Forest tomorrow and I've just been running errands, going to Costco, going to Home Depot, picking up people from the airport, and going to physical therapy appointments, like... So uh, here I am, it's like 7.30 or 8 o'clock p.m. and I'm about to try three sets of pancakes and three cheeseburgers from IHOP. So if you're not aware, IHOP has recently just released a campaign. They changed their name to IHOB for International House of Burgers. And <laughs> I just think it's laughable that IHOP is trying to get into the burger game. So I wanted to try it out for myself to see if the B in IHOP really stands for bullshit. So I got their classic burger just because I wanted to try just the basic. I also got their brunch burger, which has a fried egg and bacon and hash browns on it. And then I got their cowboy burger, <laughs> which has onion rings and barbecue sauce. And I'm really not sure what else. So three burgers. I did get a couple sides of onion rings here too. And I got cupcake pancakes, which I'm actually really excited to try. So it's just, it looks like vanilla like glaze with sprinkles on top. This is chocolate mousse pancakes. I think it's supposed to be a Belgium thing because they're so international. And then I just got the plain pancakes to see what the basics are like again. I also brought some ranch for the onion rings because I like sauce and stuff. So, mm. yum. I don't have enough room for it up here, so I'm just gonna keep it off camera, but you know it's there. And of course, let's pour ourselves a drink. It's been a freaking long day. I should be on vacation mode at this point. And then I guess this is kind of like vacation-y, but I sort of just wanna play Mario Kart on the couch, if you feel me. Okay, so I have another kombucha per use. This one is pineapple peach. I love peach, I love pineapple, I have high hopes for this. Actually, let's add vodka first, right? I just picked up a fresh handle. and the kombucha. Ooh, it smells good, it smells good. tastes like fake peach. You know what I mean? Like, you know, maybe like the gummies that are like peach flavored. That's kind of what it tastes like. Not my favorite, but it is strong. So that's a plus. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Basically today, I really want to focus on reviewing the food because I think that this whole burger thing is just ridiculous. And so I'd really like to really dive into how I feel about each thing that I'm eating. And then I can talk to you guys a little bit about my day. Okay, so let's start with just the regular burger. Surprisingly, I do see a little bit of a sear on the patty, which makes me happy. I'm digging the American cheese choice, obviously, because I love American cheese on burgers. I think it melts really, really well.
The bacon's nothing special, and it's a little chewy, and I like my bacon crispy, but it's IHOP again, so. Cooked well done. Typical, right? They call these steak burgers, and when they say steak burger, I kind of assume like steak and shake. And steak and shake's burgers are pretty thin. And so you can cook those well done without it really mattering, right? The patty's so thin that you can't tell if it's dry or not, right? This is a little bit thicker though. So I feel like they should be cooking it at least medium well and not completely well done. Or maybe they're just using such crappy meat that they have to cook it all the way. <laughs> the meat kind of tastes like mystery meat. So the meat doesn't really taste that good at all. It's not well seasoned. I don't know. I feel like I like everything but the meat on this burger better <laughs> than the burger itself. It even kind of looks like cafeteria meat. Like the consistency of it. It's like really gross to think about. Let's move on. Let's try this cowboy burger. Massive onion rings. And the onion rings I had a couple before I started, and they were pretty crunchy, which is my biggest pet peeve with onion rings. If they're soggy, I like lose my mind. I think I'm actually gonna dip this one in ranch. The onion rings really are still crispy, which is mind blowing to me. So that's great. But again, we're running into the same issue with the burger. It's just not that good. Is that not the saddest piece of lettuce you've literally ever seen? Who decides to put this on the burger? It's brown, it's limp, it's clearly old. The tomato doesn't taste that fresh. I don't know guys, I know it's IHOP and you have to manage your expectations, but if you're going to put yourself out there as International House of Burgers, like, don't make a shitty product. I will say one thing I do like about this burger though is the barbecue sauce. And I'm not really a barbecue sauce person per se, but I like it here. Maybe it's just because it's covering up all the bad. Because <laughs> that's sort of all I can taste, that and the onion rings. This is really just a barbecue sauce and onion ring sandwich with more substance. All right. This one I'm more excited to try, I think. I love a fried egg on, on a burger. 
or on anything really. It doesn't look too bad, right? The hash browns look like really crispy. You can see. You see the crispiness, right? This is a hash brown. It just tastes so fucking sad. This is definitely the worst one. It just tastes like old hash browns, the whole thing. It tastes like fast food hash browns. And not even good fast food hash browns, like bad fast food hash browns. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep these over to the side for now. How about an onion ring? Here. Mmm, this one looks extra crispy. Good. Really crispy. Maybe they should focus on onion rings. <sighs> okay, let's try some pancakes. I am knifed. All right, like we did with the burgers, let's start with the original pancakes and see what we think. And I actually haven't had IHOP pancakes in years, so I do not remember at all what they taste like. I feel like pancakes are easier to make good than burgers though. I feel like a big vagina using a fucking fork and knife like this right now. I kind of want to just use my hands. Is that bad? Mm. 
Those are really good. They're freaking pancakes, right? Like if you had to blind taste test pancakes, could you really pick <laughs> the high quality one? Pancakes are freaking delicious. The pancakes it, themselves are not like super sweet or anything. I feel like they've got a really nice balanced flavor. If anything, like they're a little tough, but it's not like meat, you know? When meat is overcooked and it's tough, it's difficult to eat. A pancake, when it's tough, is still not difficult to eat, so who the hell cares? All right, let's go into these brownie batter bitches. I know, I brought back the freaking knife because this looks really messy. Ugh. Yikes. Excuse me. Like, ah! I just dropped a whole piece of pancake on the floor. No big deal. So this chocolate sauce kind of tastes like a combination of brownie batter and chocolate frosting. It's like looser than frosting, has more like the, the consistency of brownie batter, but I feel like it also tastes more like frosting. Pretty sweet. Those are so rich. Oh my goodness. It tastes like a brownie though. And they've got the chocolate sauce like in between each of the layers, which I love. So like every piece of pancake has some of the chocolate sauce on it. My hair keeps sticking to this thing because I'm pretty sure I dropped syrup in my hair. <laughs> All right, it's cupcake time. So this stack does not have the sauce in between each layer like the brownie batter does. It's just on top and there's really not that much of it. So that's a downside before I even try it. But on the plus side, it appears they put sprinkles inside of the batter so they're like funfetti pancakes. <laughs> this is gonna be good, ready? <laughs> Woman versus pancake. Those are really sweet. Oh my goodness. That's sweeter than regular Funfetti cake, mind you. 
And now I know why they only put that much sauce on top because holy crap, if they put more sauce, I feel like I get diabetes. Way too sweet, way too sweet. These two are very clearly dessert. And I don't know, again, like I feel like I would rather just have a brownie or a cupcake but the original I don't mind. And actually, the original burger over here was probably my favorite of the burgers, just because it was very basic. Um, and it had uh, like a special kind of sauce on it too. And you know how I feel about special sauce. All in all, it's just very like, <laughs> what's the word? The food is not thoughtful at all at IHOP. And I think that's the biggest problem that I have with it. Like I get that it's it's not meant to be this like really high quality place. I think I more or less have a problem with someone claiming to have a really good product and really pushing that product as like being a possible like same level competitor with other like burger restaurants. And I think that's absolute fucking bullshit. I would go to McDonald's any day over IHOP, right? And I would consider them a more equal competitor. But McDonald's burgers are cheaper than IHOP burgers. They taste better. They're probably way more consistent too. So, I don't know. I feel like it's more of like a dine-in, fast food quality place that you pay more for. All things... I am really not that keen on. <laughs> I like the onion rings though. <laughs> Should have just done a whole onion ring mukbang. I could do it, you know. So, like I was saying before, I've had such a long day. Um, <laughs> to preface my long day though, yesterday I had to go to the doctor and get blood taken. And I am so, so, so bad with getting my blood taken. Like, I just freak out. And um, I know this is gonna sound weird, but when they stick the needle in my arm and start like taking the blood, it feels like the blood is just pouring out of my body, like I am emptying, and I feel like I can hear it. Like it's just like a waterfall of blood coming out of my body, and it just freaks me out. I also just don't like the idea of anybody touching my vein without a needle, let alone with a needle and like inserting something into it. So I hate getting blood taken. So I'm at the doctor, and they're like, oh, we have a lab in the back. So just go back there and they'll take your blood and then you can be on your way. So I go back there and the first thing I say, like every single time I go to the doctor is, I really don't do well with getting my blood taken. I just wanna let you know ahead of time so you aren't wondering why I'm freaking the fuck out, right? So this is the first time this has ever happened to me. The girl that I told this to barely said anything to me, kind of nervous laughed, walked five feet away from me to where her supervisor was standing and was like, huh, she said she doesn't do well with needles. I'm like, I am five feet from you, first of all. Like, I can hear everything that you're saying right now. And how is that supposed to make me feel comfortable with what's about to happen, first of all? So I go and I sit down in the chair like an idiot, like why would I even continue this process with this woman at this point, right? So I sit down in the chair, the supervisor is like behind her and she's just supposed to be observing, right? The girl that was taking my blood literally was looking behind her. 
herself like every two seconds to get like acknowledgement from the supervisor that she was doing the right thing. <sighs> no, I need somebody who is a little bit more confident with the blood taking skills to be sticking a needle in my arm. So I sit down and she lifts up my sleeve and every single time I get blood taken, whoever is taking my blood looks at my veins, which are gigantic, and they say, Wow, your veins are huge. You have nothing to worry about. Some people come in here with tiny veins and sometimes we don't get it in the first time. Well, this is gonna be no problem for you because you have gigantic veins. And she literally said nothing about my gigantic veins and that's like their go-to for me. Like people that don't even know each other. Like every single person that's taken my blood is also the same thing. It's a universal thing. Well, the supervisor peeks over her shoulder and says, wow, your veins are really big. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> like, <laughs> Do I though? Do I have something to worry about? So then she puts the tourniquet thing on my arm and when they put the tourniquet, they're supposed to tell you to like squeeze your fist so that you can like force blood up your arm. She didn't tell me to do that and of course in my nervous state, I didn't remember to do that. Like I'm to be instructed on how this happens every time I go. And so she forgets to tell me that so I don't do it. Then she for, like sticks it in my arm, which really hurt by the way. I'm like, okay, everything's fine, everything's fine. And then I hear the supervisor say, Oh, you have to take the tourniquet off. And so she takes it off like she forgot. And, and then she's like, there's no blood coming out. And that at that moment, I completely lost my mind. Like, I started going into full panic attack mode and I was like, what's going on? Is something wrong? And mind you, like I'm slowly on a decline at this point. <laughs> I am barely holding it together. I was like, you need to take the needle out of my arm. If something's wrong, you need to take the needle out of my arm. So she takes the needle out of my arm, which fucking hurt worse than when she put it in. <laughs> start hysterically crying. I couldn't like, it was just like, I had to let the, the crying and the emotion like escape my body and I didn't know what to do. So I literally just like uncontrollably started nervous crying and they had to like lean me back cause they put me in a freaking reclining chair cause they said I didn't do well. So they put me back. I almost passed out. Like my whole face went white. They had to bring me apple juice and feed it to me. And then they're like, Oh, we didn't get any blood. I'm sorry, and we're not gonna do it anymore today. I'm like, like, big fat fuck you. Like, <laughs> I don't have any time for this. Like, I'm here, you guys are destroying my vein. You should have not let her touch my arm to begin with, and here I am needing to make an appointment and go drive someplace else. I don't have time for this. So anyways, that was yesterday. Traumatizing, right? The rest of the day was, was not bad, actually. Actually, this was two days ago, not yesterday. Sorry for the timeline mistake. Um, but anyways, today I had my makeup appointment to a different clinic, by the way. I was not going back there. So I went to another clinic and that was at like 8.30 this morning and it went so much better. Oh my God, it was so quick. The guy knew what he was doing. He mentioned my vein. It was everything I wanted it to be. Yeah, the original pancakes are really the best. So anyways, today, I had to do that this morning. It went well. And then I had a physical therapy appointment. Immediately after that, I had to drive to the airport and pick up my brother's my brother, my boyfriend's brother. And then we had to go and drive to pick up our RV because we are taking an RV to the festival. So at that point, it was like 12.30 because everything's like 30 minutes away from each other, right? So we pick up the RV and then I had to go to the grocery store to get food for the RV, come back here. 
I had to clean up the house and do all this stuff. And then I had an interview at two o'clock, which didn't last too long, but it was like still something that I couldn't like be doing anything else for, you know what I mean? And then me and Johnny, my boyfriend Shane's brother, when I got manicure and pedicure, I don't know if you can see my manicure by the way, but it's freaking awesome. It's gel, but they added this like metallic -y powder on top, like after the gel was set, and it looks redonkulous. There's chocolate all over my fingers. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's like iridescent and it looks like it has like rainbow light as like the light hits it and it's all sparkly all over to complete my mermaid look. Anyways, so we went and got our nails done, which was hilarious by the way. It was Johnny's first time at a nail salon, like ever, let alone like actually getting a manicure or a pedicure. He opts to get the $75 pedicure because they, up, they just like sold him on, what was it? It looked like slime, but it was like a gel that they put all over his legs and like wrapped his legs in these towels. And then, not even joking, the next six pedicure chairs were taken up by other men who were like 50-ish years old. They brought their own wine and own wine glasses and own wine glass koozies. It was magnificent. I've like, <laughs> who walks into a nail salon and sees like five or six 50 year old men getting pedicures at the same time? <laughs> like that has literally never happened to me. Anyways, so that was the nail salon. And then when we left, we came back here to my place and then we had to go to Home Depot and then we had to go to Costco and then we went to IHOP. Oh, and by the way, a friendly tip for you. When I went to IHOP to order all of this stuff, the burgers were like 10 to $12 each on their menu, and the pancakes were like $10 each on their menu. If you go online, <laughs> the burgers are $7 each, and they're actually like promoting you going online and ordering. Like they're giving, like if it's your first time, or even if it's your, not your first time actually, I feel they give you $5 off. Like they give you a code with $5 off. So the burgers were $3 cheaper at least than at the location's menu. The pancakes, two of these pancakes were $5, $10 on the real menu. This one was still $10, but whatever. So instead of paying like $75 for pancakes and burgers, I paid 40, which I think is an excellent deal. Just saying. And then tomorrow morning, I have to wake up like ass early, like 5.30 a.m. to make sure I have everything packed and ready. And I have to be at the donut shop, Bogart's Donuts by the way, uh, amazing donuts in, in uptown Minneapolis to pick up my order of donuts and then I have an, another errand to run and then we're leaving like immediately after and I have all this cooking to do tonight because I'm gonna make like my mac and cheese my signature mac and cheese for the people along with five other things because I can never do anything simple, ever. So yeah, that's my day and night in a nutshell. That's tomorrow in a nutshell. But this weekend is gonna be so much fun, so it's all gonna be worth it. 
I think I'm actually gonna stop eating now though because I do not need to be eating three stacks of pancakes before wearing like close to nothing all weekend. Plus I've worked really, really hard on my abs and I would like them to stay intact for at least a couple of days during the festival. I mean, like, you guys ask me all the time, like, oh, Lindsay, how do you always eat so much? Like, look like that. Well, you have to practice restraint every now and then, right? And right now is going to be one of those times. I tried the burgers. I tried the pancakes. I told you how they were, and that's going to be the end of it for today. Anyways, guys, I can't wait to tell you about my festival experience next weekend. Um, I hope that this mukbang has helped you decide whether or not you want to try I hob or I hop burgers or pancakes and stay tuned for next week I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to post but it's going to be epic like they always are thank you guys so much for joining me today if you are not subscribed to my channel please click the little subscribe link below um, if you liked my video please give me a thumbs up if you have any questions at all or comments about what I just ate, what you just saw, what color my underwear are, I don't really know what the hell you want to know about me, but either way, comment that in the comment section below. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you on the other side. Love you guys. Bye, and have a great weekend.